This is our bacteria overview figure, and in this video, we'll be discussing Actinomyces israeli, which you can see right here. This scene will take place in a Hollywood set with an actor guy in front of a graveyard scene. This is a reenactment of the famous Shakespeare play Hamlet. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the play, there is a famous scene where Hamlet is contemplating death in a graveyard, so this is a playoff on that story. Anyway, Actor sounds like Actinomyces, so the actor character here should help you remember that this image is all about Actinomyces Israeli. Before we get too far, notice that the background has a lot of purple and blue colors. Just like in our other videos, this is to help you remember that Actinomyces Israeli is a gram-positive organism. Because this is a movie set, it shouldn't be too surprising that there are a bunch of tangled up cords from cameras and other important equipment. The tangled up cords? are a symbol for the branching filamentous morphology of Actinomyces because the tangled up cords look similar to the organism when viewed under a microscope. This is a gram stain of Actinomyces. The very center of the image is a large colony of Actinomyces, which you can see right here. The branching morphology is a bit hard to see because the magnification is so low, but if you look at the pink rim near the periphery of the colony right here, you can see many very fine branches emanating away from the purple blob, and these are the branching filaments of Actinomyces. So for example, right here, here, right here, and so forth. So again, Actinomyces is a gram-positive, branching filamentous organism. Okay, now notice that we've added a scarf that wraps around Hamlet's face and is being used as a mask. Just like in our other videos, the mask is here to help you remember that Actinomyces is an anaerobic organism. But why does he have this mask on? Because this scene is taking place in a desert area with a lot of sand that's been kicked up into the air. So he's using the mask to protect himself from breathing in all of these yellow sand granules. The yellow sand granules are here to help you remember that Actinomyces produces yellow sulfur granules. It's important to know that sulfur granules appear yellow when examined grossly, especially in the pus from an Actinomyces abscess. However, when examined under the microscope with a gram stain, they appear blue or purple. So don't get hung up on this yellow color idea when you're looking at one under a microscope. Let's return to the gram stain image so you can see what it looks like. You can see a sulfur granule in the center of the image right here. The word sulfur is kind of a misnomer because the granules are not composed of sulfur at all. They're actually composed of calcium phosphate and mycelial fragments. In case you don't know, a mycelium is just the vegetative part of bacteria. So in other words, a sulfur granule is just a large colony of Actinomyces fragments that have become calcified. Here's another image of a sulfur granule. I'm showing it to you twice so you can see some of the variation in how this may show up on step one. So definitely spend some time familiarizing yourself with these images because they're high yield for step one. Okay, with this in mind, let's continue discussing the image. 